everyone from Star Seekers. Um, so I'm trying to get everything in the picture here. It's kind of hard, but um, I come on here tonight to do a reading for uh, Tyler Hawkins, um, the Foo Foo Fighters uh, drummer. Um, who passed away. I did do a reading when he passed away on him. Um, I wasn't going to do him tonight. I was going to wait until I had did a, other, a few other requests that I have gotten a couple of weeks ago that I haven't uh, made it around to doing yet. So I was going to go ahead and do those tonight. But, um, you know, uh, when I got that request to do... Um, Another reading on uh, Tyler Hawkins, it's like he's just pushing his way through, okay? It's like he's just psh, pushing them other ones to the side, and he's like, here I am, let's do me. Um, so we're going to do Tyler Hawkins. Um, I feel a, a really strong connection with Tyler Hawkins. I felt that connection when um, I did his uh, reading when he passed. Um and it's not because I listened to the man's music, because I don't know the man's music. Um, I had never heard of the Foo Fighters in my entire life. Um, I had never heard of Tyler Hawkins, okay? Um, I don't know, I don't think I know one song that they do. I'd have to look him up and go see what songs they do and see if I know any of them, okay? Um, but I have this connection with him, just like I did with a uh, young doll. Um, now me and Young Dolph, we have some things in common, okay, and that could be, you know, our main connection with each other, um, but with Tyler, I have nothing in common with Tyler, so, um, but I have a connection with him, and, um, he's definitely pushing everybody away, and he's wanting to, he's wanting it for him tonight, so, yeah, so I'm gonna... Give it to you tonight, Tyler. It's yours. Um, the floor is yours. Okay, um, y'all, this is going to be a uh, a spiritual reading. I'm not going to pull cards on his reading tonight. I am going to um, pull everything spiritually and see what I get from this reading. And um, see what I can't find out. So, um... Let's go ahead and uh, get started on his reading. There's my glasses, because I may need them. Because at old age, we get blind. We get blind. I don't need glasses unless I'm reading. And if I'm not reading, I can't wear them because I can't see. But if I'm reading, I can't see, so I gotta wear them. How crazy is that shit? That's crazy. Um, that's when you know it's old age. Okay, so anyway, um, Tyler Hawkins, this reading is for you. This reading is going to be on your marriage. I feel like he's pushing his kids through. Um... So I want to know, was there a divorce involved with your relationship with your wife? So, um... So he keeps pushing kids through. He keeps pushing his kids through. Um, I'm not getting a divorce that he was gonna have with his wife. Um, I get a big no on that. Uh, I also get that a divorce would be a burden. Um, 
not really a burden. I get the word um, hardship. That's the word I'm getting is hardship. Um, he feels like it would have been a hardship on his kids, regardless of their age, regardless that, you know, they, they could be older. He still feels like it would have been a hardship on them kids. Um, I get that he wasn't going to put that hardship on them kids. Um, I'm also picking up, um, a family maid stays together. So... Family maid stays together. I feel like it's very important to him to teach his kids a family maid stayed together um, regardless of situations that's going on within a marriage. I believe it was very, very important for him to um, make sure his kids learned a lesson um, to teach them values within a marriage. Um, I feel that strong. Uh, his whole purpose, so he wasn't going to get divorced. There was gonna be no divorce. Um, <clears throat> I do get that this uh, marriage might have been a love affair at the beginning of it. Um, but towards the end of his death, you know, it just wasn't that magical love. Um, there might have just been a whole lot of things going on in that marriage that um, I'm not being able to see that he's not showing me. Um, I get like, you know, I'm being blocked. I'm being blocked from this part of his life. And this right here is what he's going to give me but he has things that he's not going to show. He's not going to let get put out there. I don't know if you wanted to call call it the dark side of his life, the dark side of his past. I don't know, but it's definitely there. Um, so with this message being so important to him, did he come from a divorced family? Was his, who are his parents? Were they divorced? Because this is very big to him. To teach his kids that a family maid stays together. I don't. Girlfriend and mistress. Um, no, no, I'm not picking up. Um, I'm not picking up any girlfriend and, um, at all. I'm not seeing any, I'm not getting nothing as far as girlfriend. I get a big X. Um, So I'm not saying that he did not have a girlfriend, but I am saying I'm not picking one up there. And um, that could be, maybe that's what he's hiding from me. I don't know, or not hiding, just don't, you know, won't let me see it. Um, <coughs> part of his life he may not want out there <clears throat> but he's definitely got a part of his life that he does not want out here and he is not giving it to me, okay? Um, what I am getting is what I told you. There was going to be no divorce. A family made together stays together regardless of the situation. This was a uh, 
this was a uh, very important lesson for him that, that he felt like he needed to teach his children and his sacrifices. He would have sacrificed his happiness, um, anything over that. Um, why this was a big lesson to his children for him, I, I don't know, or a teaching moment that he wanted to teach his children. Um, I, I don't know. I can only guess at that. Um, my guess would be that he came from a divorced family. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I see. I'm drawing X's. And I was just started thinking girlfriend. Okay, what was coming to my mind was... Um, you know, girlfriend, mistress, you know, somebody on the side of your wife and I start drawing X's. So I'm not gonna I'm not picking that up. I'm I'm truly not picking that up. And I don't wanna um I don't wanna put something out there that I'm not truly getting. I'm not going to do that um to feed my audience. Um I can't do it, I won't do it. Um I'm not getting, I'm not getting another female in this, um, but like I said, that could be the part that I am not allowed to know that he does not want out there for people to know about. Um, my biggest message is kids, his kids, his kids teaching them that divorce, that a family made stays together. That was definitely um, an important thing in his life. Definitely. Um, I am gonna pull one card um, I do want to pull one relationship card. I do get, um, I want to see, like, what I get within this heart for him and his wife. Um, I do get their relationship was off balanced. Okay. He's showing me that, uh, it's like off balanced. Um, I feel like it's her though. I feel like she um, is like a little overpowering. Um, he's definitely showing me a over, a overly powering relationship, and it's it's. It's her that is like that, that is the overpowering person. Um, I do feel like that. Um, This relationship definitely had a scar in the heart. Um, definitely got a scar in the heart within this marriage. Um, I do believe it is um, his scar that is there. Um, I believe I believe that that is his scar right there. Where I drew that. Um, that's within his heart, within this marriage. Um, I do feel it's torn. Um, but I, like I said, I think he would have sacrificed, um, and, and I believe he was probably sacrificing some of his happiness 
to um, show his kids that a marriage made stays together. Um, that's the biggest thing that's just pounding in my head, you know. Um, so I feel like she's the one that put the scar in his heart, in the marriage. Um, but he was in it for the long haul. If he had a female on the side, I, I know nothing of it, okay? I'm not picking it up. You know, maybe later on he'll let me pick up something like that. I don't know, but um, I do feel like there is a part that he is not going to give to me right now. Um, he, he's not showing to me right now. Um, I wasn't going to do any cards or anything, but I am, but I do want to pull a, a relationship card because I do feel like... Um, uh, a better, I mean, I don't know any other way to say it for this situation because he keeps saying, um, he needs to teach his kids that a marriage made stays together, a family made stays together. So that would make me say that he stayed in this marriage regardless of how old the kids are. Um, It was a marriage, I mean, eventually it became a marriage of convenience. So, let's pull a uh, card for them, see what we get. So, um, whoa, whoa. Too many cards. I do see him, um, I do see him overlooking his family and smiling down. Um, I absolutely see that. Um, I can feel the warmth of the light and, and it's like he's just hovering, hovering over them and smiling down on them. Um, as a family unit. As a family unit. So, let's see what we get. Yes. I should read that it came out. Um, you see that relationship? You see that snake around them? This relationship that's being smothered. Um, This is also the power card. Um, it also shows that um, he had the power to walk away from this relationship. Okay, he had the power to walk away from this relationship. But he don't. He stays for his kids. He stays for his kids. A uh, family mate stays together. So um, that's my reading on Tyler Hawk Hawkins. Um, peace, love, and light to you guys.